Hi everybody! Today we're going to be doing another one of these reviews of a German resource that you can use online for free. This one is one of my personal favorites and is absolutely fantastic. It is called Deutschdrang.com and I seriously cannot say enough good things about this website. Um, it has so many resources for German learners that I could not possibly show you in one day all of the things that you have here. But we're going to go ahead and start by just kind of giving you an overview of it and then check out some of the links that are up here at the top. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. When you first get to Deutschdrang.com, you first come upon this thing here that tells you what exactly is Drang in German, which means urge. And so then the Deutschdrang would be the desire to learn German or an urge to learn German. Kind of gives you a general overview of it, uh, makes fun of Mark Twain just a bit and talks about how German can be difficult for some people, and so there is a, uh, a website out there for that, and it's called deutschdrang.com, and so just kind of an overview there. There is a part on here that says about Deutschdrang, so you can find out a little bit more about it. Uh, it is put up by a woman by the name of Yvonne Matzen, and she is a native Swiss person, and so she uh, lives here in the United States now, and uh, taught for about 20 some odd years in uh, high schools and universities and so on. Uh, she was also a professional translator and uh, so yeah, that's who she is and what she does. She puts this all up on here. There's a privacy policy on there, but let's face it, nobody ever reads the policy privacy policy anyway. So let's just go ahead and click on this first link up here at the top and that is audio activities. Um, so it is exactly what you would think it is. It's a list of audio activities where you can learn German online. So we have here Farben, and we have the song Grün, Grün, Grün sind alle meine Kleider, which, by the way, I have on my website or on my YouTube channel as well. So you can go ahead and click on that if you want to see that. So you can check out all of these wonderful little things over here. They have uh, little audio activities that you can do here. Uh, we have one here for sports. Uh, so we have a worksheet that goes with the FC Bayern club song. Uh, so if you click here, it'll download a worksheet. I've already downloaded it so that I can show you a little bit easier uh, rather than opening up a different program. I've got it up on my uh, Google Docs. But uh, here's the audio link where it takes you to a YouTube page where uh, it'll play the FC Bayern uh, club song. But uh, I have that already over here in the Bayern spot. So anyway, you're supposed to fill in the blanks with all of these words that are up here at the top. And uh, so when the song is playing, you can write in your own answers to all of these different things. Uh, so she has the entire lyrics on there. Um, and then we have uh, what sport does this team play? Uh, why do you think it's called the Star of the South in the song? And uh, just kind of a couple of listening comprehension uh, questions there at the bottom. And uh, basically it's a worksheet that goes with a listening activity. So uh, even though this one happens to go to a YouTube video, it's not uh, not always that way. Sometimes it's just like these grim fairy tales. There's uh, a worksheet and audio here for Rumpelstiltchen. Um, we also have some Struvelpeta, which by far is one of my personal favorite things to read is Struvelpeta. Um, um, but yeah, there is a ton of these on this website, so you can check out some of those things there. Uh, they are all listening comprehension, so obviously they are audio files and uh, YouTube videos and so on. Uh, they also give you a couple of different options up here for finding uh, lyrics to uh, a particular song, as well as finding uh, people reading the text of uh, classical literature and so on. Next thing over here is handouts. Uh, handouts are exactly what you would think they are. They are handouts for classroom use. You can also use these, however, for your own personal use. Uh, so if you're learning on your own, you can use these things. So the one that I chose here as the example is the adjectives, practicing adjectives from Kapitel 1. And uh, this is just a basic handout for students who are just getting into the language. So we have things like these adjectives here. And so we're supposed to describe each of the pictures here. So this is not Thomas, by the way. Um, but it says Thomas, and then we're supposed to describe if this person is old or young. So we say Thomas ist alt, because obviously uh, George Washington is a little old there. Um, but anyway, so you can use this activity on your own or uh, in the classroom, however you want and all of that. So you also have this one here for the uh, article endings for all of the different cases. So if we click on that, you end up with this worksheet here. Uh, so we have Daddy Dusty, uh, but this one is going in the 
uh, other direction than what I use all of my charts on. So we have DAD, DAS, D, D uh, going this direction. Uh, this is slightly different than what uh, what I would use it as, but this goes masculine, uh, masculine neuter, feminine plural. Uh, a lot of teachers actually do do it this way because masculine and neuter are closer related than uh, masculine and feminine, and also the feminine and plural resemble each other a lot, and so that's why a lot of teachers do it that way. I personally don't, but you know, to each their own. Um, so yeah, we have the dare words for each of the different cases and the ein words for each of the different cases. Obviously, the plural one doesn't have one down here for the uh, ein words because you can't say a books and so on. But um, yeah, another handout for you that you can use inside the classroom or uh, on your own. And there are, again, um, quite a few of these different ones. And uh, you can comment down below on her website as well if you want to do that. But uh, tons of handouts there. We have online exercises, which is probably one of the most handy things that is on this website. Um, these are interactive things that you can do on her website, directly on the website. You never actually have to leave the website at all. Um, so for instance, this one here is articles. Uh, it's a timed battery of questions using 50 common nouns. So I'm gonna open that one up in a new tab here. And so it gives you one question here, and uh, it has 90, uh, 19 seconds there. So we say, Tag is a dare dia das? It's dare, of course. It says, yes, you got it right. Uh, me personally, I don't like to do one question at a time, so I click this button that says, show all questions, and then I can just hit die Uhr, uh, das Handy, das Fenster, and so on, and I just keep on going through the list. Uh, if you get one wrong, so for instance, if I say der Frau, it comes up and says, sorry, try that one again, and it gives you an X so that you know you already guessed that, so I say, oh, it's das, and it's like, oh, no, you still got it wrong. Try it one more time. Obviously, it's D, so I say that. Um, and then the next time that you answer a question here, so you say das email, oh, no, it's not das email, it's der email. Uh, sorry, still not it, so let's say it's D email. Yay, I'm right. Um, but you would say Regen, it's der Regen, and it says 71% correct, and you got seven out of 50 so far. So anyway, it gives you an overall as you're going kind of uh, collection, and there are 50 of them, so obviously there are a ton of these. Um, but you have other ones that are slightly more complicated, so uh, things like the adjectives used as nouns, where you have to type in your answers. Um, so you would say like, uh, ich habe den einen alten bekannten because it's accusative and after an ein word and uh, obviously masculine. So, uh, and then you can also check your answer. So it says, oh, you only got 4% correct because the only one that I answered. But anyway, so you would have to fill out all of these things. You got the uh, umlaut helpful things down there and you got hints. Um, so you have one letter added to this and you can keep getting hints if you don't know what to do. Um, it kind of comes in handy that way. So uh, also if you get something wrong, it'll type out the right answer for you. So really cool um, and there are a ton of different activities she had to actually split it up into the different alphabetical parts because if she did all of the different things that are in that part of the alphabet uh, or the entire alphabet we would have an unending page here and it would just be really annoying um, if you're looking for a particular one you can always just uh, control f and uh, search on the particular page that you're on so if you know it's in that part of the alphabet or of course there is always this search button over here on the right hand side that uh, gives you the option to just search the entire website which uh, i'll come back to here in a little bit but that uh, separates it out in the different topics, uh, A through Z, and they're all online activities. They're all interactive. They all give you the answers at the end of it. They are all phenomenal, and I am a huge fan of this, especially if I want to send like kids to a computer lab and get them to do something independently. I can get them to go to this website, put them into a computer lab, and uh, set them loose on whatever topic it is, and then they can get immediate feedback on how well they did. Um, this one here is timed because then you can tell if your students did it on their own or if they uh, had a little help or if they just copy the screen cap from somebody else. So you can make this as a homework assignment. It is just, there are so many good uses for this online, uh, online activity place here that I could not possibly talk good enough about it. Um, PowerPoints over here on the top, we have, uh, again, exactly what you would uh, think they are. They are PowerPoints talking about different uh, topics of whatever it is that you want. Um, the one that I selected over here is uh, articles and pronouns. Um, now this is just a preview, so it's not actually got the transitions and whatnot, but this is nouns and pronouns, and it asks you, uh, how is this thing? And then say, this thing is, and a couple of adjectives. So for instance, we have, wie ist das Bett? S ist groß. And these two blanks, normally they're not filled in whenever you're doing the presentation, but once you actually uh, 
you know, it's in preview mode, so it shows you what the finished product looks like as well. Um, but it's just kind of practice using dare words and uh, pronouns and in the nominative case only. So very great stuff for beginners. Um, and of course, she does also have some more complicated stuff. So we have uh, articles and pronouns is the one that I chose, but you can use adjectives used as nouns, which is obviously going to be uh, a little bit more complicated in German. And again, just a plethora of different topics that she covers over here. Um, and if you're not sure that she has one, you can always just search the site for that. Reading comprehension, exactly again what you would think it is, except these are all created by her. Um, so these are not your usual story. So the one that I chose here is uh, 99 Luftballons, and uh, it is a background story about the song. So uh, there's a blog link over here, but uh, if you click on the 99 red balloons, it gives you the option to go over here and download this uh, Luftballons reading. Uh, reading. We have uh, a little text about, you know, Nena and her song in the 80s and whatnot. Uh, and then we have vocabulary. So we have a matching here for the different phrases so that you can check to see if you understand all of that. Then we have uh, the different phrases again that you have to translate so you can do more vocabulary based on this. And then an answer key in case you actually need that whenever you're done in case you're not the teacher, for instance. Uh, so anybody who's working on these independently and you're like, oh, well, how will I know the answers? Well, there's an answer key. So you know what you're supposed to be coming up with. So you can actually check your own an uh, understanding if you are in fact the student. Again, just amazing stuff, and there are a ton of these as well. There's, you know, 20, 25 of them down there. Um, resources, she has a list of resources that she suggests, so um, a list of dictionaries, a list of grammar websites that you can go to, um, a list of movies that you can use to learn German, news organizations, and again, just awesome sites that she suggests that you use in order to learn German. Um, so check out some of those websites as well. Uh, in fact, I actually use some of these websites because they're on her website uh, that I didn't know about before. Uh, other websites, however, like uh, In Tulin or Nancy Tulin's website, uh, I also use that site. But uh, I think Deutschstrang is actually more in depth um, than even what uh, Nancy Tulin has up on her website. Back up here to the top, we have video activities. These are activities that go with uh, videos, obviously. And so this one here is the Band das Brot with uh, weather, which by the way, I love Band das Brot and it works so well for education. But uh, so we go over here to my list of downloads and we have Band das Brot. And so we have uh, the YouTube link that you need to watch in order to get this to work. And then uh, we have words that you're supposed to fill in. So we have a word bank and then here's uh, what they're saying in the dialogue. So uh, she went and took the trouble to write out exactly what it is that they're saying in the video and then you have to fill in the blanks for that. Um, and then here we have uh, video number two and so there's a video that you can find here um, and then we have to answer the questions based on that. Um, and again, just it's a another one that you can use for weather vocabulary and uh, learning German based on this video that you have to watch. So obviously video uh, comprehension. And obviously there are a ton of these as well because why would she only have a few? And they're separated out by levels. So you can see them here as the intermediate level um, and then we have the beginner level up here. Um, so anything that you can really think of that you might need for a, uh, a listening comprehension or a, a video comprehension, that would be a good source for that. Vocabulary, we have uh, quite a few sources again here for that. So we have uh, activities that you can do with these uh, vocabulary things. So we have the uh, ABCs and uh, adjectives and things for uh, foreigners and jobs. And uh, most of these are links to external websites where you can do like flashcards and uh, about.com's website and a few other things where uh, they can help you out learn these uh, vocabulary type things. Some of them are PowerPoints that uh, she has made over the years. Um, but there are, again, a bunch of different types of vocabulary things that she has on here. We also have uh, vocabulary for uh, Deutsch Heute, which is a uh, particular textbook that she has used in the past, and also uh, Kontakte, uh, the seventh edition, which is again another uh, textbook that she used while she was teaching. So if you're a teacher that happens to use one of those two versions of the textbook, you can actually use uh, her website specifically for the textbook that you use. Or if you're learning on your own, you can actually uh, buy these books on Amazon and uh, use the vocabulary tricks that she uses on her website uh, for your own learning. 
WebQuest is a great way to learn to learn a foreign language. If you're an independent student, it's not as handy because there isn't really a way to find out how well you did on this. Uh, but if you are in class uh, and you're a teacher, this is a great way to find out more information about a particular topic. Um, so for instance, the one that I want to try out is this restaurant. So if I click on the restaurant here, um, it downloads the document. But if I click on the uh, link here, this link is the restaurant website that she chose for the worksheet. So we'll go back over here to the worksheet. We have uh, the website itself here again, and then also some questions. So in which city is this located? Uh, so we go over here and we have to find out on this website what city is this located in and so on. Um, and just general questions about the website, and then it tells you, you know, click on this and find these things. It's a web quest, so, um, and it's specifically for this website, so if you're one of those teachers who uh, doesn't have the time or uh, doesn't feel like putting extra effort into finding your own web quest, uh, this is a great resource for you as well. Um, or if you're just a student looking for a way to um, kind of surf the web with a little bit more of a, a point to your searching, uh, this is a great way for you to accomplish that. Uh, the weekly brick is probably my favorite part of the entire website because this is a weekly thing that she does every week and it's uh, you know a particular topic for the week. So for instance, this week is modal verben. And uh, so we have, here's how to conjugate them according to Quizlet and uh, here's how to use them, what to do with them. Uh, here's a listening activity to go with the modal auxiliaries. Here is uh, yet another activity that you can use uh, to go with that song. Uh, here's a PowerPoint. Um, more and more and more stuff about the modal auxiliaries. And it's always just one topic for the week and you can spend your time going through each of the little uh, links that she puts up for that particular thing. Uh, previous week was clothing, so we have uh, vocabulary and some flashcards and uh, a PowerPoint about clothing and so on. Um, and this is my personal favorite part of the website. Every week she uploads something new um, and it is just really cool to uh, kind of guide yourself through learning German if you want to find some kind of guidance to your life instead of just having like, uh, hey, I feel like learning about this thing in German this week, or this happens to be what YouTubers uh, uploaded this week to teach you. Well, this is a way to get something a little bit more structured uh, for your weekly brick in the wall, as it were, according to uh, the idea that you need to build on each topic. And uh, so she has that on there. Worksheets, uh, if you click on the worksheet thing here itself, then it just takes you to this thing that says, you know, here's some worksheets. But if you go to the beginner level worksheets, you have only beginner level worksheets. If you go to obviously the intermediate or the advanced, you would get the advanced levels and so on. Um, but we, we have, you know, basic of German. If you want to go to the beginner one, we have word order here. So that's the one that I chose to download earlier. Um, so the word order one here tells you a little bit about word order, tells you that you can start the sentence with something that's not the subject and it would be grammatically correct and perfectly fine, gives you a couple of examples, reminds you that uh, verb always has to be in second position, and then it tells you, okay, now you're up. So now you have to put the thing that's uh, at the underlined part here and put that at the beginning and then rearrange your word order as needed for that. Uh, I do something similar for my students throughout the year as well. Um, and then of course we have the answer key down here at the bottom so that uh, you can find your own answers um, even if you are an independent learner. So. Again, really handy stuff there. Um, and all of the worksheets are basically set up like that. So we have a crossword puzzle here with the irregular present tense verbs. We've got um, cases help over here for direct objects and so on. You got some pronouns help and miscellaneous help and just, again, more things than I could possibly list in one video. Uh, we have some movie reviews down here. There's only a few of them, but uh, if you want to learn kind of what her opinion is about this and uh, different movies that we can watch, we have Inglorious Bastards with Quentin Tarantino uh, in July, which I've actually seen, which is a pretty good film. Uh, the Lives of Others, which I believe was actually uh, awarded several foreign film awards. Um, great film as well. And you can check out her uh, assessment of the different ones. So, for instance, we have Inglorious Bastards here. Um, and she tells us, you know, uh, it's not real and uh, it's bloody and kind of here's what's uh, needed and so on. Textbook reviews, there's a couple of these on here as well. Um, me personally, I follow the same type of logic that she has, and that is that 
every textbook is awful. Um, every textbook has its own problems, but there are good things in certain textbooks and good things in other textbooks. And so she has the good, the bad, and the ugly, and then kind of, you know, the lowdown on each of these uh, textbooks that she did. Um, these are only the two textbooks of uh, Kontakte and Deutsch Heute, uh, both of which are a little bit older textbooks than uh, what most people are using now. But uh, again, she uh, has these reviews on there if you wanted to check out her opinion about these textbooks before you buy one on Amazon or something. The Deutschdrang blog is again a blog where she tells you a little bit about German and she usually speaks in German except for the ones where she's uh, talking in English uh, about a particular grammar topic or something like that. But uh, it's been a while since she's had one, so this is July of 20, uh, 2014, so it's been about you know six months or so. Uh, but Really, considering how many other things are on here, I can't find it unreasonable that she doesn't keep up with her blog. But uh, even if you aren't, uh, you know, up to date on her blog, you can check out all of these other random articles that she has on here and test your German skills even further. Conversion links here, we have uh, how to get things from the metric to uh, standard or shoe sizes and clothing and currency and electricity and keyboards and things you need to convert. That's all on one page for you. Uh, German customs is a cool one if you're looking for some cultural things, especially if you're a teacher, you want to have uh, some resources for students to go to. So uh, we have a couple of different holidays and things that the Germans do here. Uh, so we have uh, the, the Drei Königstag, which is Three Kings Day, and that is uh, January 6th. Tells you a little bit about it, what Germans do for that, why they celebrate it, those kind of things. It's German customs. It's, you know, what they do. Here we have German sports, we have ways of learning about the uh, vocabulary about sports, we have the rules of sports, the types of sports, and all kinds of things about sports. Swiss Oddities is a really cool part of her website. Here we have uh, odd things that the Swiss do. So she's obviously a native Swiss, she's uh, born there, raised there, came to the United States, uh, and eventually just stayed here. Um, and there are some things that the Swiss do that are just kind of odd. So she uh, goes through different topics and kind of tells you a little bit about these weird things that the Swiss do. Um, not necessarily because they're weird, but because it's kind of cute and funny that the Swiss do the things that they do in the way that they do them. So um, for instance, on the uh, original thing here, it just tells you that uh, their flag is square, which is odd in all kinds of ways, and uh, it actually embodies a little bit more about the Swiss people than it probably should because they are very proper and very square and inside the box, or in this case, the inside the square. So I don't know, it's kind of a cutesy little fun way to talk about the Swiss, and uh, obviously she would know because she was born and raised there. And the last thing on here is traveling to Germany. Uh, traveling to Germany will tell you about, uh, you know, some customs that the Germans do, uh, how to get there, what requirements you might have coming from your particular country, uh, what you will need to do in order to drive there, um, and just kind of some general tips about traveling to Germany. So that's... Uh, that's kind of the links up here at the top. There is, of course, still more stuff because why would there not be? So for instance, this search bar here, uh, if you're looking for a particular topic, I guarantee you she probably has it on here, but uh, you can't find it because there is a ton of stuff on here. So you just search for, for instance, adjectives. Search for adjectives, hit enter, and uh, here you have online exercise about adjective endings. You have uh, here a suffix for anything that ends in ish or lich. Um, you have some handouts for classroom usage with uh, adjective endings. You have the uh, intermediate level adjective endings and just, you know, things about adjectives. You found them relatively easily that way. Uh, the one thing I do want to point out is that she also runs this Facebook po page for Deutschdrang, and she updates it most uh, most days throughout the week, uh, almost daily, if not every day. Uh, this one was actually three three hours ago, so you know, relatively soon. Um, but she shares all kinds of awesome resources, so it's just kind of an extra way to get some daily German in your life. So for here we have things that use und, so ab und zu, now and then, and so on. Um, and she uploads quite a few things that I just think are fantastic. Um, I seriously think that you should probably like this page uh, if you have not already liked this page because apparently there are almost 2,000 likes, which is phenomenal for a German language learning site.
Going back to her website itself, there are a couple of other things that I want to mention on here. Uh, you have the weekly brick so that you can find that relatively easily now. Uh, there is the blog on here, but you can also put your email address in there. So if you're looking for whenever she uploads something to the blog again, since uh, it's been since July, uh, you'll be notified via email if you just put in your uh, email in there. Uh, recent posts, things that she's done recently on her blog. Uh, things that are for sale, so uh, you can find things that way. And my personal favorite button on here is this donate button because let's be honest, she put a lot of work into this website and I honestly think that she deserves your uh, money if you're using uh, a lot of her stuff. Uh, just hit that donate button, you can give her however much money you want. Uh, this is my shameless way of just kind of giving her some more money uh, based on the fact that I use a lot of her website, I use a lot of her worksheets, I use a lot of her PowerPoints, and I send students here all the time trying to find out how they can get extra help on their German homework. This is just a phenomenal website. Uh, again, this website is called deutschdrang.com, and if you have not already checked out this website, you need to, like right now. It is fantastic. Please go to deutschdrang.com, check out all of these activities here, find out what you can learn on German on here, and uh, yeah, send some love her direction. That's all that I have for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, next week, I actually have an interview with the person who runs this website. I have a, uh, a little talk that we had. We sat down in my kitchen and uh, had a conversation about her website and how she teaches German, how she taught German, uh, a little bit about her life in Switzerland, and uh, some fun little tidbits about how to teach German in uh, the modern classroom. So uh, if you want, you can check that out next week. I will be uploading that on Monday instead of the usual upload for whatever it is that I was supposed to do next week. But anyway, this website is called deutschdrang.com, and for that, I'm out of here. Cheers.